Hello again, tactical YouTubers. Dub here. Um, I decided that I was going to do my review here on the uh, Spyderco Ladybug 3 Hawkbill Salt Fully Serrated. Uh, as sub my normal subscribers know, I got this knife about a week and a half ago. And uh, I've been carrying it every day, using it every day. Uh, but there's a couple things i got to do to the knife, and I wanted to do this review before... Uh, I done those things, so uh, that's why it's a few days premature. Uh, I like to keep my knives at least two weeks in rotation before I review them. Uh, so, anyway, just a couple of specs I wrote down here. Uh, it's got a one and seven eighth inch blade. Uh, its full length is about four and a quarter, four and five sixteenths, something like that, and its weight is 0. 0.6 ounces. And I got this written down on this piece of paper here. Uh, because we're going to be cutting this paper in a second, or trying to. Uh, first off, let's talk about the knife a little bit, uh, and then I'll get into my problems and pros and cons of this knife. Uh, I got my little uh, Big Bubba uh, lanyard on here, just because I wanted to carry it, and this is the knife I'm carrying right now. Uh, as you can tell, like I said, it's the Hawkbill Salt uh, with the H1 steel, uh, fully serrated. It's the only way it comes as of now, uh, with the uh, yellow FRN handles, and you know some a problem I have with these uh, FRN handles. Uh, I didn't clean it because I wanted to show you how dirty uh, it gets really easily. Just gets gross. I've cleaned this knife twice, and I've only had it a week and a half, and it's dirty again. Uh, so I wanted to show that, just to show you how quick it gets dirty. I mean, it's the same as on the uh, the Delicas and the Enduras, which I do not have around me. That's something i got to learn to do, is keep the knives I want to talk about close to me. Uh, so that's uh, something i got to get better at. But uh, but that's, you know, that's a problem I have with it. It's not a huge problem, because, you know, you just take a little brush or something in there and, and clean that beast out, and you're okay. Uh, it's just a nuisance, uh, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, it's got a nice lock back, uh, locks up nice and tight. It's got just the slightest little bit of side to side, but in a knife this size, you know, you can't get mad at that. No up and down. Of course, it's got a little detent there, which is nice. Uh, you know, all in all, I really like the knife. Uh, is it my favorite ladybug? No. But... Uh, I like it. Uh, another problem I have with the knife closed, you can see the gap there. Uh, you can see the end of the blade sticking out of the handle, which I don't like. Uh, you know, I mean, you're not going to, like, catch your finger in there or, you know, get anything in there, more than likely. But I just don't like how it looks. Uh, I think the blade should seat all the way into the uh, into the handle there. But, you know, once again, just a minor thing. Uh, it's got an, uh, just like the other ladybugs, it's got this 9mm opening hole here, uh, which is plenty big enough to get it open. I mean, you can even, if you hold it just right, you can even flick it and get it open, so that's nice. But the main reason uh, of this review is to talk about this H1 steel and this blade and what I think of it. Uh, I've been really getting into hawk bills for some reason here recently. Uh, I don't know why, but... I've been really enjoying them. Um, so that's why I got the, the Hawkbill Salt. But this is my first experience with the H1 Steel, and I wanted to kind of share what I thought about it a little bit. Uh, first off, it scratches really easily. Uh, as you can see, if I can get it to... You can see the scratches there uh, in the blade already. And like I said, a week and a half. If I could get it to focus correctly. There we go. Uh... I've had this blade a week and a half, and it is already all scratched up, uh, something fierce. So, you know, that's a problem with the H1 steel. Uh, it is rust-resistant. I played around with it, you know, lemon juice and salt water and all of this, trying to get it to rust, you know. So far, it's been really good. Uh, so that's good with this FRN handles. You can just put it under some water and scrub those off to clean them off, and you ain't got to worry about the blade. Uh... Edge retention. That's the main thing I want to talk about here. Uh, this is, of course, being fully serrated. Uh, from what I hear, uh, this H1 steel, 
the edge retention gets better uh, with with work harden, hardening of it. Uh, so more or less, you know, the more you use it, the more you sharpen it, uh, the harder the edge gets, and the more retention it it it, it has. Uh, but with my experience this week and a half, I've been taking this to work, opening boxes, uh, breaking down boxes, cutting plastic straps, uh, that kind of thing. You know, nothing hard. Uh, this has about, in my opinion, you know, this is just my opinion, uh, the edge retention of about an AUS, uh, AUS 6 steel, uh, somewhere around there. Uh, which I kind of wanted to demonstrate. If you watch my other video, I done a couple cutting uh, tests with this knife whenever I got it before I used it for anything. And uh, like I said, it's been a week and a half. I've opened boxes and that kind of thing. And as of yet, like it is so dull that I mean it rips the paper off. Uh, there's a couple places like right there. You know, I got a nice, nice uh, that serration there is still pretty sharp. Uh, but back here, I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty dull. I mean, it's not super dull, but it's dull enough. Uh, I mean, it's not cutting it very, very smooth. Uh, and the tip, which is, you know, what you use mainly uh, in a hawk bill for opening boxes and stuff, is really dull. Like, I can't even get it, I was sitting here earlier trying to get it to cut the paper, and I couldn't get it to do it at all. So it's dull. Uh, for an, my knife, it's dull. Uh, I keep a pretty nice edge on my knives, which you know normally would not be a problem for me. Okay, I'd stick it, you know, sharpen it up a bit, touch it up, and we're good to go. But with these serrations, I suck at sharpening serrations. So you know, I've got to. It's a job to get this sharp again. Uh, so I'm not a huge fan of the edge retention of the H1 steel. Am I a fan of the blade shape? Yes. Am I a fan of the H1 steel uh, on a plain edged? I don't know. Never tried it. Uh, I hear that the edge retention on the serrated edge is better than on the plain edge because there is more work hardening that goes into uh, making the serrations. So I hear that it's better on the serrations and the plain edge. If that's the case, then I don't know. But uh, you know, if you gotta you gotta weigh you you know weigh your 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 options. You know, if you need something that's rust proof, then go for it. It's a great steel. If you want something that's gonna you know hold a good edge, this isn't it in my opinion. Uh, do I like the knife? Yeah, I do. I really like the knife, and like I said, I'm going to try to touch up those serrations as best I can, uh, clean off the handles again, get it back to where it where it should be, try to maybe buff out some of those uh, scratches and see if I can get it back into decent shape. But it was scratched up the very first day I had it, just from opening boxes and stuff, so it scratches really easily. But anyway, guys, I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to kind of run over some of the problems I had with it. Uh, the blade shape has been great, though, for opening straps and, you know, opening stuff. It, the blade shape has been fantastic, and I love the hawkbill shape. But anyway, this is the uh, contest prize, so uh, whoever wins the contest, I hope to see what you all think of uh, whoever wins out there. Hope to see what you all think of this knife, because, uh, you know, this is just my opinions. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a knife. I tend to be a little bit critical of knives, which, you know, just my flaw. But uh, all in all, I give the knife up, you know, the knife, more the steel than the knife. Uh, you know, a C, C plus, you know, if you need to be rust free, it's great. Uh, if you just, you know, normal everyday knife, eh, whatever. But anyway, guys, that's it. Any questions, let me know. Uh, see you around next time. Y'all be careful out there. Arrivederci.